Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Gary Myers. I am a child neurologist and a professor of pediatrics, neurology, and environmental medicine here at the University of Rochester in upstate New York. Recently, the federal government issued some new guide, dietary guidelines <coughs> which recommended that fish in the American diet be increased for the benefits uh, that it has to uh, health and nutrition in general. One of the reasons for this recommendation was that fish <coughs> contain omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. These are very important components of normal nervous system development. The omega-3s and omega-6s are involved in uh, cellular mechanics and turning genes on and off in neurotransmission and a variety of other physiological processes that are especially critical during the development of the brain. But in addition, the omega-3 fatty acids have been shown to be beneficial uh, in uh, the heart as well and to decrease uh, cardiovascular complications uh, in later life. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, fish also contains small amounts of mercury. A number of years ago, our, our research group did some studies in Iraq following a poisoning episode where people consumed large quantities of methylmercury. When we looked at our data, there was a suggestion that perhaps exposure to mercury at the levels that can be achieved by a regular fish consumption could have some harmful effects to the fetus. This led to a 25-year study that has been taking place in the Republic of Seychelles to see if that hypothesis was true. We started out by enrolling a group of children consisting of over 700 children and their mothers, and we have followed them longitudinally, examining them at multiple points over the last 20 years. We chose the Seychelles Islands for the study because uh, the general population in Seychelles consumes fish every day and because fish varies in how much methylmercury it contains, uh, that is uh, many of the smaller and reef fishes have very low levels of mercury whereas higher predatory fish have higher levels. Uh, because of that, and because of people's preferences for which fish they consume, uh, there's quite a variation of mercury exposure in the Seychelles. Uh, in Seychelles, the average uh, level of mercury in uh, women of childbearing age is about 10 times that of the U.S. population. At, at each uh, evaluation of the children over these over the past 19 years, we've administered a battery of increasingly sophisticated uh, neuropsychological tests to try to uh, determine if there are subtle differences between those children who had the lowest exposure and those children who had higher exposures. Uh, we uh, have looked at the data at each time and also at each evaluation and also longitudinally. And what we found was rather surprising. We found in some cases those children who had slightly higher exposure to mercury than others were doing better. This was not expected because mercury has no uh, physiological use in the human body. We hypothesized uh, that uh, mercury exposure was just a surrogate, however, for fish consumption. And uh, with that in mind, we began to look at other factors uh, in the fish, namely the nutrients that are present in fish. So we enrolled a new cohort of children, starting when their mothers first presented to the, um, to the um, antenatal clinic in the Seychelles. And we measured nutrients during the pregnancy and then following the pregnancy. Uh, and then we measured a number of psychological endpoints uh, 
in the children at various ages. At this point in time, uh, we have been unable to confirm any adverse effects of methylmercury on children's development in the cohort that we've been studying.